what's going on YouTube so about two weeks ago I made a video of a software called Virtual XR which is a software that allows you to do special computing or have a virtual windows with multiple windows set up and one of the questions that I kept getting or one of the comments that I kept getting in my comment section was why Xtrio doesn't have a software of their own for the Xtrio one series glasses well they actually do uh, but it's still in beta now the thing to know is that the software itself actually works really well the reason why it's still in beta is because there are some stability issues as far as uh well in terms of my computer the stability issue is sometimes it would not start up and sometimes it will start up but once it starts up it runs very very smoothly like it's extremely stable it has the best stability of any pc software i have ever tried and i mean any this includes ginger xr this includes uh features uh, uh spacewalker this includes virtual xr this includes ar money when nebula works it is very smooth now the thing with nebula is it's you know it depends on your pc it runs on something called unity so that consumes a lot more resources which means that you're going to need somewhat of a more powerful pc to uh run the software and it drains the battery quite a bit in comparison to virtual xr which i made a video of two weeks ago it uses way less battery but it's not quite as stable as this so there are some gives and take and with that one you have multiple windows that you can do with this you do have multiple windows set up but I, what i'm going to do is um i'm going to show you so as you guys can see this is for the one series glasses it shows you uh what your glasses uh if you guys can see it it shows you your glasses requirement if you want to get a, a version if you want to download this beta software all you have to do is go on xtrios reddit join xtrios discord and find a link to their discord once you join the discord you're gonna be able to download the software and i mean you're gonna be able to join the discord and download the software but you have to remember it's still in beta so they might not accept you uh joining the uh, discord to download the beta but i think they are looking for more people i don't really know i don't remember but just give it a shot if that's what you're looking for anyways i'm going to plug the glasses in and show you guys the software how it looks and the stability once you start the app you're gonna see two windows or three window options and you're gonna see the ultra wide and super ultra wide mode i'd recommend just using the three window options this it's gonna give you the best experience you can use the two window or the ultra wide uh, feature but if you're gonna use the ultra wide just use it uh the glasses straight on because the ultra wide and super ultra wide is actually built into the glasses it's a lot more stable and uses less resources and the controls are pretty simple they allow you to do just about everything you want to do such as increase the size zoom in and out adjust the curvature of the displays to your liking you can even go down and adjust the gap in between the virtual windows that way it feels uh more realistic when you're sitting in front of it but uh yeah overall when the app works it's very stable there is no screen tearing there is zero screen drift whatsoever just very very polished when it does work uh, if you want to see more about this software all you have to do is click on my previous videos i've made a ton of videos about nebula uh, it's basically the same thing the only difference is this one is now compatible with the one series of glasses i really like this i just wish it was using something other than unity because unity uses more resources and it's more uh, power consuming but uh yeah anyways if you like this video please like comment and if you're not already subscribed please subscribe i appreciate all the support thank you catch you guys in the next one peace